us here at the Ryder Cup to watch the golf. But if you can't spend all day long walking around the golf course, then this spectator village has plenty to offer. That's right, there is absolutely tons to do here. So Cara and I are going to split up, go our separate ways and see what we can find. Let's do it. Right, shopping time. Better get myself one of these. Thank you very much. How about one of these, the official European team waterproof jacket? Cab, that'll do nicely. How about one of these official flags? I might try and get a few signatures on this later. Brolly, thank you very much. Official golf balls, I might need a few of those. Let's take two packets, done. Couple more caps, they always make good presents. And last but not least, I'm going to take a bag tag to remind myself of my fabulous Ryder Cup experience at Glen Eagle. So that's all done. I think it's time to go and pay. Well, while Cara is having a bit of a shopping spree, I'm going to show you my favourite place here in the Spectator Village, and it's the Ryder Cup experience tent. Come with me. And we are into the European team locker room, or at least a version of it because just for a few minutes, you can pretend like you really are representing your very own team. And you come in, and we're having a motivational speech from a very famous Ryder Cup golfer. So this is where the fans can come and have a go at playing this PGA Centenary course. This is Callum. Callum, what are we doing today? What's the plan here? Basically, this is the tee shot, uh, as the players see it on the 18th hole on the Centenary course. So everybody that comes through gets a chance to hit the shot and then they'll move through and hit the approach shot as well. Right, so this is the 18th hole. This is where the Ryder Cup might well be decided on Sunday. So I think I'm going to have a go, Callum. Oh, and he's ripped it. Straight down the middle. A lot of hang time. There you go. Thanks for the commentary, Callum. There it is. Look at that. Straight down the middle. There you go, McGinley. How about that? And one of the best things in this year's Spectator Village is the personalisation booth. So you can bring something you bought in the shop, take this white hat I got, and come and get it personalised. Let's give it a go. Hi there, can I get my hat personalised, please? Yeah, you're allowed up to three letters. OK, go. I'll go for my initials, please. C-R. C-R. Right, let's wait and see how it comes out. Wow, thank you very much. Look at that, that'll do me for life. Thank you. And it goes without saying that the main feature of this spectator village is indeed a big screen with the golf itself. Here it is, a lovely environment for people to come and sit down, plenty of chairs and tables to sit quietly, take the weight off their feet and enjoy the golf. And if you follow me a bit further around the left-hand side, you can see a full scoreboard over there detailing every single hole of each match out on the golf course. So even if you're not walking hole by hole, you still know what's going on in the spectator village.